it's 6 52 now time for the morning sprint it has been one week since quadron wilson was shot on madison's east side new edited street camera footage released by madison police shows the scene of the incident after he was shot it shows wilson's car trapped between two unmarked law enforcement vehicles and then wilson there in the corner being carried away on a stretcher the Dane County Sheriff's Office is investigating. It has not said why they were attempting an arrest, who shot Wilson, or whether he was armed. The Wisconsin Department of Health is asking people to check their lettuce as part of a recall on dull packaged salads. The DHS is investigating a multi-state outbreak of listeria infections linked to the products. 17 people in 13 states have been infected and two people have died, including one from Wisconsin. All recalled packaged salads were produced by Dole and sold under multiple brands. We have these specific details on channel3000.com. Members of the 115th Finer Wing in Madison getting recognized for their work. This weekend, the Finer Wing held its annual awards ceremony at Truex Field. Military members and civilians alike were acknowledged for unit and state awards they'd earned throughout the year. The women and men of the 115th who deployed during the past year were also highlighted during the ceremony. Today, News 3 Now is partnering with the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund to help keep the heat and power on for our most vulnerable community members. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund is a statewide nonprofit that helps people who can't afford to pay their energy bills. Tomorrow, we'll be working with volunteers to help raise donations for the fund as part of a day of warmth. From 4 o'clock to 6.30, volunteers will be here and ready to take your donations to help our community members stay warm during our Wisconsin winters. You can also donate right now by heading to kwwf.org slash donate. So tune tonight to help give us, to help us give the gift of warmth. CBS News has learned the National Archives is asking the Department of Justice to investigate former President Trump's handling of official White House documents. The news comes days after learning officials were forced to retrieve materials from Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence that were improperly taken. The nature of the investigation still unclear. CBS Mornings will have more at 7. Members of Madison's Urban Design Commission are voicing some concerns over a proposal to demolish three buildings on State Street. Property owner J.D. McCormick presented their plan for the building during a meeting with the commission last night. They hope to put up a two-story restaurant with roughly 20 studio and one-bedroom apartments above. We have more on last night's meeting up on channel3000.com. Camp Randall is inching closer to completing a major renovation. UW Madison will now have new premium seating and hospitality clubs for fans in the south end zone. The weather has been cooperating and construction is staying on track, with officials saying they're excited for what's to come. UW expects the main structure to be up by May before finishing touches. It should be fully completed just in time for football season, which kicks off against Illinois State on September 3rd. The Milwaukee Brewers are suing a wing sauce company for not paying them sponsorship fees. According to the lawsuit, the two businesses had a contract together for the last three seasons. Under that contract, the Wyoming Sauce Company is required to pay the Brewers several installments of $100,000 at the start of each season. The lawsuit claims the sauce company failed to pay the last two installations. Canadian truckers protesting vaccine mandates are causing temporary production disruptions at some plants for Detroit's big three automakers, primarily in Canada. Ford Motor officials have warned the protests could have widespread implications for the North American auto industry. CBS Mornings has more on the situation coming up next. And a growing number of states are shedding mask mandates. Now, the latest COVID-19 wave appears to be declining across the nation. California and New Jersey have already made moves, with Nevada expected to fall suit later today. So far, CDC not revising its guidance, saying hospitalization and death rates remain too high. We do still have cloud cover on the increase today. Temperatures are going to be warming up to 27 this afternoon. Snow starts to arrive for the evening, and that will end as a mix and some rain. Snow amounts are generally going to be light, right around an inch, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, just depending on where you are. Additional snow chances arrive by the middle of next week. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, folks. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.